Hi guys, it's Alison from Scrapman Crafts and today is Tuesday which means it's time for Creamy Tuesday and the theme this week as you can see from the pocket sleeve is pocket letters. So I used to make pocket letters all the time and I hadn't really made them again until I did my Happy Meal workshop a couple of months ago and it's got me into it again. They are a great way for using up scraps I never throw anything away, I always stick it in a little basket then go back and make embellishments and things. So I am just using some scraps from the In Colour 2016-2018 colours. Uh, I've got some scraps of cardstock paper and I've got the little enamel embellishments. So I've cut my nine cards which are all three and a half by two and a half inches and I'm just rounding off the corners because we know how I hate a square corner. So I'm just using some of the Peekaboo Peach, the Dapper Denim and I've got some Whisper White and a piece of Vellum. I like to plan my pocket layers out first. But what I'm doing here is, because I didn't have any of the bigger pieces of cardstock in the other colours, I decided to take some white and stamp them using the ink. So I'm going to go to Emerald Envy and to Flirty Flamingo. So I'm using the Better Together stamp set and I'm just taking the nice little rose stamp that is in there. So I'm just going to bring that in in a second and create some patterned cardstock. So that is the stamp there. And I'm going to be using Flirty Flamingo ink. Some of the cardstock that you see me using might not be available anymore. Um, but the in colours are still available. It's just different products. You can still get the plain cardstock, but you maybe we won't get the patterned cardstock, but there are different embellishments and things that are available and the inks are all still available. So I'm just randomly stamping the little flower. I'm not re-inking it every time, so I've got various different um like a kind of gradient effect, like different strengths. Some of the roses are a bit faded. Then I'm going to the other piece of paper and I'm using the Love Sparkles set and I'm just using this little starburst again in the Flirty Flamingo. I just like to see that Flirty Flamingo. So I'm just stamping that over there randomly along the top and then just bringing it down like a little scattered starburst type design. I really love that stamp. I use it all the time. I'm flipping that over. I put some paper down because I was stamping off the edges and things. So I'm going in now with the same stamps, but this time it is Emerald Envy. And again, not always re-inking. I've done most of the like heavy ones first and then I'm doing lighter ones. There's that one. And then I'm going in with the stars and this time I decided I'd go around the edges of the card. Just kind of go a little bit piggledy piggledy with it. It's just our little starburst card there. So that is my four stamped images in the peaky boot. No, not in the peaky boot. In the flirty flamingo and the emerald envy. So now I'm doing what I said. I'm planning out the layout. So I decided to put the peaky boot peach on either side of the vellum, the dapper den denim top and bottom, and then my stamped pieces in the corner. The only one I'm not using from the in colour is the Sweet Sugar Plum. But I am putting some embellishments on in that colour. So I'm starting off with the star one. And the only piece of Flirty Flamingo scrap I had left is a skinny little bit. 
So I decided I would pair it with a little bit of Peaky Boo Peach. So I'm just cutting little strips. These are just strips that are left over from making other projects. So I'm just cutting them down, making little banners. And then I love using a stapler as a accent rather than just put paper together. So I'm using a nice pink coloured stapler. So a pink staple. And then just making little banner flags there. And I decided to add a little peekaboo peach star. And I thought about using the sugar plum one, but I thought no. And a little circle. So that is that card left. I have mentioned before when making pocket layers that my personal style is a more minimal, cleaner style. Uh, a lot of people do like really heavily embellished ones. I prefer not to. I just do a little bit. So next up we're using Dapper Denim. And these are just some scraps from the DSP paper which is now retired. So I'm using my sweetheart punch just to punch out a heart and then just have a little decide. I don't ever go into a pocket letter with a plan. I like to just move things around, lay them out and see how they go. So the reverse of that word paper has got polka dots which is what I'm using but then I decided it was too blue so I've just cut a little square of whisper white and I'm rounding off the corners. One thing I will say about pocket layers, if you've never done one before, is, or if you've never done any paper craft before, is that they are a really good starter craft. A lot of people make pocket letters, but then they'll say, I can't make cards, I can't scrapbook. If you can make a pocket letter, then you can make a card, you can scrapbook. You can make all sorts of things, because these are just like little miniature layouts that you're doing. This particular one that I'm doing here, this is a scrapbook layout. All you'd have to do is do that on a bigger scale with the laying up your papers and then pop a little photograph on there and it would be a scrapbook layout. Again these little cards you could take this three by two card, three and a half by two and a half card and you could pop it on the front of a folded piece of cardstock and you've got a card put a little sentiment on it and you're good to go if you can make these then you can do all those other projects as well each one is like just a little miniature layout so i'm just kind of trying out some different things here but in the end i decided i was just going to leave it the way that it is because i thought it looked good so yep that is the finished one and as I said that could easily be a layout. So next up we are doing the Emerald Envy one. So I'm just pulling some scraps and deciding what I want to do. Like, will I use Peekaboo Beach? Will I not? So I'm taking my little blossom punch and I have punched out one flower from the floral pattern. And then two from just the plain Emerald Envy cardstock. <coughs> just had a little cameo from my dog there, Martin. Um, so I decided that the green was getting lost among the stamping. So I cut out a heart, using my sweetheart punch on a bit of whisper right. And I have mounted the little flowers on there instead so you can see i've just put in some of the little enamel centers using the peaky boo peach and now i just decided to bring a little bit more of the peach in using a couple of strips of designer paper so i've just put in some of the peaky boo peach enamel shapes for centers of the flowers 
and I decided that the green was getting lost among the stamping so I just cut out a little white heart using my sweetheart punch and some whisper white guard and I'm just layering the flowers up on top of that Just so that they stand out a little bit more. And then I decided to bring in a little bit more of the peekaboo peach just by layering up some paper banners behind the heart as well. So I'm just trimming them and then layering them up on top of one another. I'm just using the stamping dimensionals for all of these pockets just to give everything a little bit of a 3D look. Because I think even though you're sliding them in the pockets it's still nice to have that little bit of texture. And also because some people take the cards out of the pockets once they receive them and put them in smash books or reuse them or do whatever. So I'm now just cutting a little banner from some Whisper White cardstock and I'm just going to round down the edges of that. So now that I am just grabbing a pen and doing a little bit of lettering, so I'm just writing bloom to go with the flowers. Just doing some basic lettering and then I am adding some Peabo Peach embellishments and popping that down at the bottom of the card. And that is that one finished as well. So that's three down already. These do not take long at all. Really shaping up now. So going in for the peekaboo peach next. I'm just having a little think about what to use with it. What I think is really good about the in colour sweets is when you look at colours and you think, I would never put peach and blue together, but they are all designed to work well together. So you may use some combinations that you never thought you would. So now I am just doing a little take on one of my favourite ways to do a pocket letter square. I usually cut banners using my banner punch in different widths and lengths and then just layer them up but this time I decided I was going to do them instead of doing the traditional pointed banner I just rounded off two corners and made them kind of little round banners so I just went and grabbed another piece of peeky boo peach this is envelope paper which has also sadly been retired but I love it I'm just making another little banner just to go with these and then I was just kind of messing around with what length and what order they were going to go in trying to get it right I'm still not happy Like to kind of move things around a bit and I think we have a winner I'm just putting that together and again just using my stapler I put two the right way round and one upside down and then I just decided I was going to add a cheeky little flirty flamingo heart so initially I had intended for that to hang down from the bottom but I changed my mind and decided that I was going to put it across the way instead. And then I brought in a few of the little flamingo dots and put them at the top right and bottom left corners of the card just to finish that one off nicely. 
is card number four. So for the center pocket, I'm using a piece of scrap vellum. This is a really easy one. I'm just drawing on a little envelope doodle and then lettering on it, you've got mail. Just using an archival pen and then I'm popping a little Fluffy Flamingo heart on the envelope. And then I decided just to bring in some little dots in Emerald Envy, Dapper Denim and Sweet Sugar Plum. And that is that one complete. So I'll just pop the letter in behind. And it's kind of see-through, so I'll use some pretty paper. Back to the Peekaboo Peach again. And I think I may have exhausted my supplies a little bit. So I started to think, what could I use instead? So I'm just going to grab a little bit of the Whisper White and cut that down to about two by three so it's a little bit smaller than the backing card and then i'm just rounding off the corners and this is going to be a super easy card i'm grabbing a piece of peaky boo peach and using my sweetheart punch and then a piece of emerald envy and using the sweetheart punch again so i'm just layering those hearts up using the stamping the original and then I am just going to finish that card off by popping a little enamel heart in alternating colours. So Emerald Envy on the peach and Peaky Boo Peach on the Emerald Envy. And that is that one done. So these are my last three and I decided I was going to skip ahead to the Fluffy Flamingo one that I stamped with roses. And I actually decided that I just like this the way it is. I love the way the stamping came out. So all I did was make a little banner using the Love Sparkles stamps and pop that on there and then it was done. So we are just having a little think to do what the what to do with the last two. So you're gonna go with the Emerald MV one, which remember I put the little stamped star border all around the card. So I decided I was going to pull the star out of the Love Sparkles kit, the big star, and just stamp that in the middle using the Emerald Envy Inch. There you go. And then I decided that I would do a little bit of lettering on there as well. So I've just written on there, shine like a star. And some basic lettering and then I've grabbed some of the enamel stars and dapper denim um, sweet sugar plum and peach, blue peach just to finish that one off and then we have just one left and that is the dapper denim one and this is going to be just a really really basic one because I feel like the two stamped cards on either side have got quite a lot going on. So all I am doing with this one is popping a piece of the script paper over the top as a little kind of band. I thought about leading it up with a couple of different patterns but in the end I changed my mind and thought I would just do that one across the middle so it's just out of shot I'm just trimming it down stuck it down first and then trimmed the edges I was still thinking about possibly adding that spotty paper just to see if that would look good and in the end I just left it as it was so there is the completed pocket letter Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit subscribe and I will see you all again here soon. Bye bye.